Hi, I'm Heimbach. I'm sure you know this party trick of making wine glasses sing, but it's relevant to the topic I want to talk about today. I was part of three performances at this year's Bauhausfest in Dessau, one of which I already made a video about. The performance I want to talk about today was called Bauharmonie. This performance was based around the idea that the Bauhaus itself could become a sound object and could be played. Every object has its own sound that you can bring out by exciting it, by bows or beaters or with your finger. And well-made objects have a good sound that lasts long and resonates. And the objects that you can find at Bauhaus are especially well-made. The original idea for this performance comes from Anja Dietz, who studies at the Technische Universität in Berlin. I was brought in to help with a technical and artistical realization, composing the score and performing it together with three performers from the Initiative Neuer Zirkus. So after preliminary talks with Anja, I went to the Bauhaus and did some location scouting. I mic'd up a few spots with pizzos and ran them through the Coma Field Kit into the Gotham and Effects Deformer. A few weeks and some planning later, we went to the Bauhaus to set up the performance. Anja set up an umbrella of balanced piezo mics. We choose seven spots for piezo mics. A drainage pipe that ran through the building, a cable channel on the ceiling, this chain for opening and closing the windows, a radiator, the window frames, the wooden back wall and the crack in the floor that you'll see later. All mics ran into a Yamaha O1V mixer. I EQ'd every mic heavily to avoid feedback. Then I set up effects channels. This is the effects rig I used on all channels. The Coma Field Kit I used in my earlier explorations has no function anymore since I wanted all mics to be on one mixer. The Gotham NFX Deformer is used for granular processing. One of the audience members later called it the Cosmic Wave. The tremolo and fuzz combination that is the Varus Audio Janus enabled me to do tuned feedbacks. The Strymon timeline was one of the most crucial pieces in the whole effect chain. I used it to create pattern delays so that minimal sounds could already become a groove and almost a whole piece in themselves. Because pizza mics lack a sense of acoustic space, I used the Neun Arbor Slate to add a nice reverb. After setting up, we started rehearsals with the three performers, Carlo Janke, Lukas Flint and Andrea Salustri. We had not even talked before meeting at Bauhaus, so I was pleasantly surprised how quickly we got the show together.
after the performance, the audience could play with the Bauhaus themselves. So that's it for today's video. Let me just say that being commissioned to hit a cultural landmark like the Bauhaus with sticks was one of the more enjoyable experiences in my artistic life so far. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Until next time, goodbye.